Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Tom the Collector here with another action figure review. So this one's a special one because it's my first San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Even though it wasn't from San Diego Comic Con, this since of the whole pandemic stuff. But I'm excited for this one because I, I actually predicted this somehow. And like a week before it happened, and they dropped the this. So... I'm really happy about that, and I was actually happy to find it because, or I was happy to actually get it from Hasbro instead of paying like almost 150 bucks on eBay just to get one early. But this guy, these guys were 50 bucks on Hasbro, so I was able to find it. So uh, let's go over this. So first, you get this sleeve here. Uh, you get the gold reflective uh, furnish here with the X logo. And then a picture of Logan and Charles from the Logan movie. Um, and they did a good job on that. And then you get the Marvel Legends logo in the center. And then on the top you get another Marvel Legends. So, uh, love it. Bleh, sorry, I cannot talk. Marvel Legends series on the top. Uh, same thing on the other side. And then here's the bomb, except it's just blue and with the DCPI for you guys. Uh, and then uh, what you want to do is just pull this guy out just like that. I'm definitely keeping the box and stuff like that. So here's what they look like here. I'm really excited for them. Uh, so it's like the other uh, Marvel Legends X-Men boxes. They come with this gold this one's more reflective, more reflective than the other ones, actually. Actually, it is reflective. It's actual gold, whereas this one's just yellow. This one's actual reflected gold compared to the other ones. So you get the black uh, X-Men logo right there and that actual gold lining there. Same deal on the top. You, like, you can see it shining. I like that a lot. That's really cool. And then you get the Marvel Legends series logo furnished there. Same deal on the top. You get Marvel's Logan and Charles Xavier. And then here's the side with uh, Logan silhouette there. Hold, him holding his hand. Uh, and then same deal on the other side here. And then here's Charles. And here's Charles again on the other side. And then here's the bottom with the Marvel Legends logo again. Because the DCPI was on the sleeve. But besides that, let's crack these two open. And here they are out of the packaging, and oh my goodness, they look cool. Um, especially the Logan. That's the one that I've been looking for the most. Um, so, first we'll go over Charles. We'll hold off on Logan for a bit. Sorry, buddy. Uh, so, for Charles, here um, he has the accessory. So, we've seen this uh, wheelchair before. So, the wheels are actual rubber. It gives it this br nice brown, leathery chair looking stuff here it's the same exact wheelchair uh from the magneto and Char uh charles um two pack here so here's the other one here so the same exact thing actually no difference at all same thing all right so there's that uh, and the wheels do move, the big wheels do move, um, and these don't, so, yeah. Uh, but for Charles himself, they actually did a really good job on this head sculpt, too. They're doing a really good job on Patrick Stewart here. So he does have, like, the, even, like, the little, uh, what do you want to call these, freckles uh, here on his face and head. You get a little bit of gray beard going on there more freckles they did a really good job on this guy and then you get a little bit of hair in the back which he does have in the movie i think they could have done a little bit of a better job on the paint job with those but 
it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch. I mean, you barely noticed it in the movie. So, I mean, it's not gonna bother me. And then he does have this flannel shirt in the, uh, underneath his hoodie here. So that's cool and you get a nice brown color for any normal old person. Uh, you get a nice texturing here in the bottom and also here. So that's cool. Um, and then he has any normal civilian pants here too. They're a little bit skinnier, I believe, mainly because he's on a wheelchair. It's obviously, he's obviously gonna have skinny legs. Um, so yeah, and we've seen these pants before, I believe from, uh, well, if, actually no. We, I think these are different, I'm not sure. Yeah, they, I think they're actually, yeah, they're the same. They just, I don't know, for some reason they seem different. Um, but we've seen them with the, that Professor X that I just brought up and uh, Nick Fury. Um, but they're just different color, uh, more black. Uh, and you get brown shoes, same shoes we've seen before. Uh, and he does have just one relaxed hand, another relaxed hand for grabbing. Um, but besides that, that's it for the looks. So let's go over his articulation. So his head can move down that far. Uh up that far he has the disc and ball joint instead a uh, double ball joint and his shoulders can move out way past 90 degrees so that's cool uh, he has 360 rotation around the shoulder jeez uh bicep swivel double joints and elbows there his wrist can hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation there uh, he does have an ab crunch, but I don't know how far he's going to get, especially since how tight this is. So not a whole lot forward, uh, not a whole lot back either. He does have a waist swivel, so he's going to do 360 rotation around that. Uh, his legs could kick out just a little bit, but I mean, what are you going to do? He's going to be sitting in the chair anyways. Uh, he's going to kick forward a whole lot, actually, surprising for an old man. Um, backwards. Not a whole lot, but I mean, not a big deal for me. Thigh cut. I uh, has double joints and knees there. His ankles can hinge down just a little bit that far up, just a little bit, and nice ankle pivot. All right, Logan, now you can come back in the frame because you're the best part, actually, in this because you're going to be the cool one. Uh, so for accessories for him, he does have two heads and one extra head. So one with screaming and he has a bunch of blood and bruise going on around his face. He has some scars. They did a good job with the beard. I like that a lot. The hair's really good too. Um, I think it, it, it does look a lot like him from the Logan movie. I like it a lot. They did a good job. So there's that one. And then here's the other one. Actually, we'll wait for the actual going over the figure itself actually. So yeah, and then the other one, if you could tell, we have two pairs of metal claws, but the difference, there's a difference. So hold on. So one, yes, these are ones that we've seen before. And then here's the other ones. Let's see if you could tell the difference. If it will focus, maybe you won't be able to. But I think I, I can already see the difference. Focus. <laughs> Focus. Damn camera on the phone. Come on, focus. You're almost there. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. There we go. There's the difference. You get blood splatter on them. I like these a lot. I, will, I think the only reason why they were able to pull this off is because it's SDC exclusive where I don't think this I think this is the only time that they ever had blood on a character for them so I like this a lot so I'm happy about this I will definitely have him with these claws on and the other ones but yes uh, now focus back on the character I mean I, I, it figures there we go but besides that that's it for accessories so here's the actual Logan face if it'll focus come on focus gosh damn Okay, what if I move right here? Again, focus, focus. All right, what about this? There we go, there's the focus. So yeah, you get some bruising, a little bit of blood on him. 
You get some scars around this head there. Like I said before, good job on the beard. They put some grays and brown and black in there. The hair they did a good job on too. It looks a lot like him from the movie, like I've said before. Um, and then from the, uh, if you could tell, um, he's a little bit more buffy on the shoulders compared to the other people that have sh uh, the suit, which I'm actually really happy. I was a little worried that they are gonna have him a little bit too slim, but I'm glad that they actually did this instead. So good job on that part, Hasbro. But one thing I will say, is the legs are a little out of proportion for me. I feel like I think they could have made them made them a little bit thicker. <laughs> Thick. Um but yes. I uh, it has the white shirt underneath this jacket here. Like in the movie, he has a black jacket most of the time. He has black pants, black shoes. So not a whole bunch going on with that it's uh the actual like body itself besides maybe he's just a little bit buffier on the shoulders but um but he does have a, oh that's cool i never noticed that uh hang on let me focus for a second there we go you get to see some hair around the neck where like any you know, any other person that's growing their beard out like that they have their beard going out through the neck instead of like trimming it so yeah i mean I, I think they, uh, yeah, they can't do much about that one, but I, that that's a nice little detail that they added in there. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, that's it for the looks. So let's go over his articulation here. There we go. So his head, he has the double ball joint again, which I'm not really happy about because of this. I'm not real happy about that because you get a little bit gapage there. So his head is, I think the head is a little bit small for the body here, I think, maybe. It's, yeah, it's just a little bit too small, I feel like. But some parts of him are a little out of proportion, I feel like. Um, so you can look down just a little bit, but then you get a little bit of gapage in the back there. You can look up that far, so that's not bad. But you get a little bit of gapage there. So that's and it's not bothering me too much. But the one thing that bothers me is looking down because you don't look down a whole lot. You just like doink. Plus the beard kind of gets in the way. But I prefer the disc and ball joint instead because the only thing that they get out of the double ball joint is the pivot. But I'm not a huge fan of the pivoting really. I'm more into looking up and down more. And then you get left and right motion side to side there. So, that, I mean, it's okay, I guess, for right now. But I really hope they don't do this again because that this part bothers me a lot. Um, so the shoulders can move out pretty close to 90 degrees. Not quite there yet. Uh, he has 360 rotation around the shoulder. He has bicep swivel, double-jointed elbows there. His wrists can hinge down that far up that far good job um he does have an av crunch so you can get him to crunch forward that far backwards that far a little bit better than most people that have a suit like this he has a waist swivel so 360 rotation around there you can kick out that far like the normal amount for wolverine i guess you could kick i mean the last part was kick out to the side this one's kicking out forward so you can kick out really far forward uh, backwards, not a lot. I mean, you wouldn't expect someone to just kick you backwards like that <laughs> uh, with a suit. So um, he does have a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees here. Yeah, that's as far as he goes. Um, he has his angles hinge down that far, up that far, and I think. Oh, he does have a little boot swivel in there. That was a little sneaky of Hasbro there. That is real sneaky. I did not expect that. I was like, wait a second. Something seemed a little weird because it was like this. Now I went like this. I was like, wait. <laughs> That's real sneaky Hasbro. Real sneaky. Now he broke his leg. Um, But yeah. Here's Professor X side by side with the Professor X from the Magneto and Professor X uh, two pack 
And here I have the McAvoy head sculpt on him, but uh, let me grab the uh, Patrick Stewart head sculpt for you, which I see right now in this bag. So let me yoink that out real quick. So, here's the head sculpts for you. So, definitely made him older than this one, but whereas this one, he looks younger because this one was his last movie and he was older than that one. And this one and the other ones, he was younger like this. So they did a good job with the different difference in age look there. I like that a lot. Um, like I said before, the wheelchairs are the exact same thing. I think they should have given him a more modern looking one. Whereas this one they should keep with because they're in the middle of the desert broke, uh, being wanted and I mean, being hidden from the world and stuff like that. So I think they could have went with a modern look for him instead of if, keep this, this one's perfect. Uh, so yeah, good job on that. All right. And then here's Logan next to himself uh, from the past X2, X-Men Origins. Uh, they're span standing in, in about the same height. These two are a little standing up a little forward a little bit so they're reasonably the same height um so yeah they did a good job and one thing i will say actually uh to get something cool because if you guys do remember from the ending of logan i'm gonna do this real quick so if i can i'm gonna pop this off there we go um then grab this one i'm gonna pop you off real quick there bud and might as well pop your head off too while i'm at it there we go okay so then pop this off just like that pop your head off too bam just like that pop you on there pop you on again there we go and bam so this, I think, is awesome. This is cool. Because then you can just interchange heads and do a bunch of other crazy, oopsies, that's not what I wanna do. But you could do a bunch of crazy scenes from like the end of Logan. Um, I think, yeah, the only problem I see with the ending is that he had a more modern look, but older look, I guess, but still. Like, this was, I guess, what he looked like in the farm scene. So, I think, with the options that they've given us, I think they did a good job with the, giving us options to do a bunch of crazy stuff with the Wolverine figures, too. So, thank you, Hasbro, for this. This is pretty sick. If you put your, um, if you use your brain and try to do some cool stuff with it and be a little creative with it. But, yeah. Like, even look at how many head sculpts they've given us through the X-Men waves for Wolverine. You get two heads for Logan, two heads for our X2, uh, otherwise known as X-Men Origins Wolverine, I guess. And then two X-Men Origins Wolverine heads. So you could do a bunch of crazy cool stuff with them. And you give us three different claws. So they gave us the bone claws. They gave us the regular animantium ones. They gave us the bloody ones which are right on him right now but yes they did a good job at trying to get us to do this and this is pretty cool so yeah so i think hasbro has done an amazing job with the x-men um characters and the figures and stuff like that they did a really good job i still have yet a few x-men figures to get myself right now i need to get deadpool um i also need to get uh domino still i pre-ordered her so she's coming in a few days and then i also need to get mystique uh hopefully they'll release more uh along the road but we'll see i think they're just doing this mainly because of the 20 year anniversary of the x-men movies so yes but these two uh i love them they're awesome so uh they're really cool i highly recommend getting it before they sell out, they can actually be worth a whole lot of money, especially with it being STC exclusive and the box looking pretty cool um, and being different. So I think, and then you asked to do a bunch of crazy cool stuff like I just showed you with the 
swapping heads and claws and stuff like that. So I highly recommend getting this, these two guys. Um, they're actually a reasonable price on Hasbro right now. I'm not sure if they're in stock or not right now, but I recommend getting them before they run out and then you have to find like a super expensive one. So um, the only problem that I would say already, like I've told you guys already, is the proportions for this Logan figure, but besides like his head is just a little, I feel like it's a little, just a little too small. And then also like the whole head joint, neck joint there. I'm not a huge fan of the double ball joint. And then the legs are a little too skinny for me. So that's all I've got is just mainly the Logan figure. They did a good job on this guy. Uh, there's not much to say about him besides he's gonna be on a wheelchair anyways, so. I mean, what can you do? Um, but uh, that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he... Yeah like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.